Hey friends, how's everybody doing? I thought it'd be really fun to start off our activities with a seed jar. Check it out. Spring is full of new beginnings, and in nature, that could be explored. Watching seeds grow is an amazing science lesson for kids. This gives them the opportunity to see up close how a seed grows and what would actually be happening underground. This is something you could check the progress of every day and have an awesome time examining and observing the growth of our seed germination experiment. Okay, for our supplies, we're going to need a few things. First thing, we need a mason jar or just a glass if you don't have one, and we'd like it to be clear so you can see what's going on. Then I have a couple paper towels. I grabbed two, depending on the size of your jar. Then I have a couple seeds. So peas and beans uh, seem to sprout the quickest. I have a bean pole and it's not exactly a spring vegetable, but I found squash. You want something with a bigger seed so that you can see the sprout happen. It's really interesting. Lastly, you will need some water. I like to use a spray bottle. You could also, if you don't have a spray bottle, no problem. You can just use a small glass of water. Okay, for step one, you're gonna want to have the kiddos fold paper towel. This is perfect for small hands. Get your mason jar and your paper towel and you get your paper towel all the way down. Do the same thing with your second paper towel. Fold and put in the jar. Okay, next you want to get your water, whether it's your spray bottle or your glass of water, and you don't want to flood the glass. You just want to lightly get your paper towels wet. Lastly, we're going to get our beans and our seeds and we're going to put them in to our jar. So I want to get it close to the outside so we can see what's going on. Again, perfect for little hands. You can kind of see my bean there. And you're going to just spread them all out. And if they're not right on the outside, you can always stick your head in. That's the cool thing about a jar. You get to see all the angles and see all the different ways that the beans can grow. Okay, the last step you want to do is rewater your beans that are perfectly in place. You get your water, and again, you don't want to flood it. You just want a little bit of moisture in there for them. And you can still see them in here. This is something that you could check out every single day and see what you see. If you really want, guys, you can get a piece of paper and draw what you're seeing. What you're going to be seeing is what's actually happening underground. I hope you all have fun. See you soon.